hello guys welcome to engineers academy now we are going to solve this uh, 20th problem from chapter 14 hebler dynamics the problem says that the crash cushion for a highway barrier consists of a nest of barrels filled with an impact absorbing material the barrier stopping force is measured versus the vehicle penetration into the barrier so this is the barrier stopping force versus the vehicle penetration this is in kips and this is in feet so we are given this graph and we are asked to determine the distance a car having a weight of 4,000 pound will penetrate the barrier if it is originally traveling at 55 feet per second when it strikes the first barrier. So let's say that this is the overall barrier, let's say, and the car is traveling with 55 feet per second when it just hits the first barrier. So the barrier will apply the force on this car in this direction. This is that FB. This is that FB. Versus the vehicle penetration. This is that the, the car distance penetration until its stoppage. Right. So let's say that the, 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 the car stops at some distance X. Right. The car penetrates into some distance. And let's say that penetration distance is X. So we are required to find this penetration distance until which the car will come to rest. So we need to apply the work energy principle. So the kinetic energy, the initial kinetic energy when it just hits the barrier is let's say T1 plus the work, the summation of the work done due to the external forces from 1 to 2, from state 1 to state 2. So and this will be equal to the kinetic energy at state 2 when it comes to rest. Right, so initially the kinetic energy of the car is 1 divided by 2 mass, so the weight is given, weight is 4000, so this is 4000 divided by G value which is 32.2 feet per second square times the initial velocity. So the initial velocity at this particular instant is uh, 55 feet per second, so this is 55 square and the work done due to the external force so its weight is going to act downward and normal force is acting in the upward direction so the car is traveling the distance in the horizontal direction and this w and n are perpendicular to their distance travel so they are not going to produce the work done so the only work done is due to that fb the barrier force and that work done will we, we can find that work done by finding the area under this uh, graph Right, so we can write that this is that area. And as we can see that the car is uh, covering the distance in this direction, that is in the, towards the right. And FB is acting towards the left, so they are in the opposite direction. So this means that FB is doing the negative work. So we can write that this is the, the area under the graph. We have to subtract that area since that is the negative work. And this will be equal to T2 and since it will penetrate for some distance and then the car will come to rest. So the kinetic energy at state 2 will be equal to 0. So if I calculate this, let me calculate this is 1 divided by 2. So 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.5 multiplied by 4000 multiplied by 55 square divided by 32.2. So this is uh, 187,888 and its units will be pound feet right and here the graph is given in kips so we have to convert this right so let me write that this is 187,889 approximately or we can say that 187 triple eight right this is triple eight minus area and this is equal to 0 and if I bring this to the other side so we will have minus 187,888 and the minus sign will cancel out so the area uh, under the graph is should be equal to 187,888 so we have to find the penetration distance and uh, since the graph is given in KIPS, so we have to convert this. The units of this kinetic energy is pound feet. So could, to convert it into kilo, so we have to multiply 
and divide by 1000. So this 1000, we can write this 1000 is kilo, right? And we need to divide it by 1000. So, so this will be 187.89 kip feet. Now, if we uh, want to calculate the area, let's say that if I divide this area into sub portions, so we have these four portions. So now this area is 2 times 9. Let me write that area, this area, 2 times 9 plus this area, this is 5 minus 2, this is 3 times 18. And then this area, this is 15 minus 5 plus 15 minus 5 into the height, height is 27. So now if I calculate this, this is 2 into 9, 2 into 9 is 18 plus 3 into 18 plus 15 minus 5 is 10, so 10 into 27. So this is 342. So if we add up these three areas, this comes out to be 342 kip feet. And this 342 area is greater than this area, right? So this is greater than 187.89 kip feet. So this means that the car will come to rest uh, somewhere between this area, right? It need to travel the distance somewhere between 5 and 15, right? So let's say that the car come to rest at a distance x somewhere here. Let's say this is that point where the car comes to rest, right? So now we say that from here to here, this is that maximum penetration of the car. This is that x. So now what we need to do is that we need to find the area until that point where the car comes to rest and this is our uh, this is our observation right from that that the total area if we add up these three areas so then that area comes out to be greater than this and the work energy principle says that this area need to be equal to this 187.89 area so in this this first area is 2 into 9 this is 18 plus this is 3 into 18 so this is how much this is 18 uh, plus 3, 3 into 18. So 72, this area plus sum of the area from this portion, right? So, so sum of the area from, from this large rectangle, right? So this is, we can write that 18 plus that 3 into 18 plus this area this this will be if the total is x so x minus 5 i will write x minus 5 into the height of this area so the, this height is 27 so i will multiply it with 27 and this must be equal to 187.89 the work energy principles tells us that the car should penetrate until the area under the graph reaches this much uh, work. This is 187.89 kip feet. So this is 18 into 3 into 18. This is 72. This is 72 plus. And if I multiply this, so this will be 27x minus 5 into 27. And this is 187.89. This is 27x. Let me write that x, which is very important. We want to find this x. So this 27x is equal to 187.89 and if we bring these two terms to the other side so that will become minus 72 and this will become plus this is plus 5 into 27 and now if i divide both sides of equation by 27 then we will be able to find that penetration of the car into the uh, barrier so we can calculate this is we will calculate this ratio which is uh, 187.89 minus uh, 72 plus 5 into 27 divided by 27. So this gives me 9.29.
this axis is equal to 9.29 feet. So now the car travels uh, a distance of 9.29 feet from this point until this point. So this is that distance the car will travel when it will come to rest after hitting this barrier.